Okay. I should be safe here. No colorful robots are gonna blow me up. Son of a bitch! <laughs>。Welcome to Shelf Space. I'm your host, Rodims13, and today we are doing the out of box review of the HG1144 scale Leo. First and foremost, let's take a look at the packaging, and then we'll move on to the rest of the stuff. So, as I mentioned before, this is a very thin box, <laughs> but it's got some really cool artwork of the Leo. Actually, it has a bunch of Leos on it. I want that flag. That flag looks so cool. I wish there was like a better picture of it so I could maybe try to make my own or something like that. It's part of the Gumpla Evolution Project. Gundam Wing, Bandai, the Leo name, onto the sides. Again, then box. So you get to see its accessories, front and back shot, evolution point, fine build. Basically talking about how the uh, build for this is kind of a different uh, animal altogether from other kits. Showing how the runners are all divided up. Onto the side, we got HG After Colony, 211, Leo, Gunpla Evolution, Bandai. Bunch of Japanese stuff and some English translations, but I'm not going to worry about that too much. A little bit of a blurb on the Leo itself, showing that this would be about a thousand yen, so about ten bucks, give or take. Same as the other side, except Bluefin sticker. All right, let's get reset, take a look at the suit itself. And here we have the HG Leo in all its plastic glory. Posability wise, it's not too bad. Head doesn't move, but that's kind of comes with the territory for the way the suit's designed. Though there is evidence to show that maybe it should have uh, been able to do that. Arms are on a neat sort of butterfly joint with a ball socket and the ability to rotate around like so. You got the bicep swivel right there a single jointed elbow but you still get quite a nice bend to it and then your usual ball socket uh, hands there uh, the shield is on a ball socket attached to the little uh, mechanism there so you can pose it however you seem fit there is a uh, ball socket inside the waist there and that lets you get a little bit of an ab crunch. They gotta be careful because if you pull too much, it pops out. But you can rotate it around. So you got waist swivel there as well. There's no front skirts really to speak of, so you get a nice high kick, and then a nice double jointed knee that gives you pretty much a full bend. And I really like how it has this set up here. That's pretty cool. Ankles are on a uh, ball socket. Let you move around. And uh, these uh, ankle guards are on a ball socket as well, but you gotta be careful because they can pop off pretty easily. And now let's see if Van Dam would approve of this kit. Yeah, I'd say it approved pretty well. Accessory wise, he comes with two beam saber handles and two beam saber blades. Here's one all rigged up and ready to go. So we'll just pop this over here. He's got the shield that I've already mentioned. Don't fall over now, you'll make me look bad. And he's got the Leo machine gun, which looks pretty darn cool. And it just slots right into the hand there. You can even Pull out this little handle there and have him grip it for sort of a um, two-handed pose. I prefer to just have him hold it like this. So overall, it's a really cool looking kit. You can notice that I went ahead and uh, panel lined mine in uh, brown and smudged it a little bit to give it a bit of a uh, worn look to it. I also have plans to uh, customize either this Leo or another one that I picked up uh, for something really cool that I'll probably show off later. 
what else can I say about this thing when well, that hasn't been said? It's really cool looking and especially for the price, I would highly recommend getting it. Especially if you can get it for retail price or if you can find it for lower, then what are you waiting for? Um, so, yeah, HG Leo, awesome kit. Get one. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that YouTube stuff. Also, check out the uh, links in the description for uh, my storefronts because I have official shelf space t-shirts there as well as other things. And I'll see you the next time you invade my shelf space.